Scotland, a beautiful land where the secrets of whisky making have passed down from generation to generation for hundreds of years. In the last episode, we saw how barley seeds were malted and germinated and prepared for mashing. This is from Cask to Bottle, Episode 3. Hi, I'm Colin Hamden white and I'm going to shed some light on these secrets. For the mashing part of the whisky making process, the quality of the water is very important. Scotland's pristine springs provide excellent water for mashing, in which the grains and water are mixed together. These grains, called grist, and the water are mixed in large metal kettles called a mash tun. Uh, we have a full lighter mash tun here, and it contains about 50 to 60,000 litres. Bottom part's steel, the top part's copper. But originally they would be made from iron. The science of whisky making kicks in again, and a combination of heat and time creates an environment for enzymes and sugars, called warts, to begin the fermentation process. All of the fermentable sugars are extracted during this time, and the mixtures of grist and water are usually mashed about three times to ensure all the usable sugars are removed. This creates a foaming effect, which is a good indication that the massing process is going smoothly. Each batch is recorded so that the distillers know when the mash process is complete. At the end of this process, the mixture resembles a very cloudy beer, which marks the beginning of fermentation. And now the mashing phase is complete, and the mixture is ready to be fermented, and moves into large containers called washbacks. Follow us from cask to bottle as we discover this and other mysteries of the whisky making process.